Alright, today we're gonna go over two basic ways to enter the clinch for mixed martial arts. It's really, really simple, right? One, one move is the left hook, the other, other move is the right overhand. Let me bring my boy Rich in, we're gonna get this thing cooking. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the overhand right, how to get into the clinch. So my hands are up, I'm usually gonna lead it either with a jab or a feint. So from here, and in this case I'll use a feint, I'm gonna feint, get a reaction, punch my overhand, my right overhand, right through the gap. Now whether I land the punch or not, I'm really indifferent to it. I just want to get my hand through that crevice between the hand and his head. From here, my left hand goes to the bicep, inside tie, and then I step my back leg forward behind my partner's lead leg, so up. Notice that my head is on the inside, inside between uh, 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 his lead shoulder and, and, his, and his neck here, just like so. I don't want my head on the opposite side. So again, I'm here, I fan him, I throw the overhand right, I step through. Again, I'll get into some more details now. So I'm gonna fan him, I throw, I land or I don't, but I step in. Now see my hips? If you can scan now for a second. See how far my hips are away from Rich's hips? This is problematic for me. There's always a potential for him to either step his leg back or go for leg throws, like Uchimata. Right, there's always a chance for him to try to throw me there. So I wanna make sure that when I step through, that my hips are in, so that I can control the trajectory of my head, right? I can posture up, it's harder for him to throw me. So again, on that, this time I'll jab, right? So I'm gonna throw my jab, overhand right, step through, hips in, bending my knees, head on the inside. All right, a little bit faster. the most fundamental way to get into the clinch uh, from long range, but this one's a great one. Let's bring it in one more time. Let's go with the left hook. The left hook, in my opinion, is a little bit safer, and I'll tell you why. When channeling your right hand to get into the clinch, oftentimes there's always the risk that he can land his lead hand before I land my right hand. Boom, he can get inside. But because I'm using my lead arm this time to close the distance, chances are I'll be able to negate his lead arm if I have the proper timing and I make the proper reads. So check it out guys, I'm here, hands are up. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna lunge off the ball of my back foot, and I'm gonna throw my hook. Notice where I am, I'm in proximity now to do what? Inside tie, pump my hand to the inside, and where's my head go? Here and here. Now the only difference is because we have the same side leg forward, Instead of stepping around to his back, which you can do, I'm gonna make sure that my left leg is tight on the inside. Just like so, okay? So again. Hands are up, I feign him, I'm bending my knees, turning towards my lead leg, exploding off my back foot. Watch this. So I'm in position to do what? Combo, inside tie, head on the inside. I'll give you some options. If you wanna to step to the inside, you can. If you wanna circle around to the back, if you want, you can just put us in focus, bro. If you want to step around to the back, you can as well. Okay, so if I land here, I can start to walk my hips to the back, keeping my hips in, in, and low, all right? In and low, again, again. So I'm here, fanning, turning, hook, inside tie, promo. If I want to step deep here, I'm going for my takedown, my kneecaps, my trips, my foot sweeps, everything like that, we can do that. If I want to circle to the back, boom, I have to circle to the back. Okay, last time, last time. This is closing up these two great ways to get to the clinch. You know, we were talking off camera before too, we were saying, it's great to be able to make rides to, to control your guy on the ground. It's, it's great to be able to deliver ground and pound, but if you can't get the guy to the ground, it's for nothing. So we gotta make sure that we can get to the clinch and eventually we'll work on getting the guy down. Here. Bend, explode, boom. Inside side combo, circle, or me inside, and all of our takedowns will come from there. Come on, subscribe. Two ways to get to the clinch. Overhand right, left hook, bulletproof. The one that's a little bit safer is the left hook. The one that's a little bit more risky is the overhand right. Both work tremendously, so make sure you guys drill that. Be careful, drill, drill with a safe partner. Number one, yes. make sure that your partner is a controlled person.
If you don't know how to pull your punches, you can get hurt drilling smooth. So just remind you guys, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and have a great weekend. Or if it's Monday, have a great week.